there is a real division and I commend you for actually opening up this discussion which is on very treacherous grounds people are afraid to talk about this because of accusations of so-called Islamophobia but it's a conversation we must continue to have um, how do we um, how do we proceed how do how do we if you have the, the attention of thousands of people now who watch this program, and they're very active. Um, this is not your typical let it run in the airport kind of show, and nobody really is listening. These people are listening. If you had to teach us one thing that we must understand to be able to fight this evil, what would it be? I'd say overwhelmingly, your concerns and your fears about about what transpires in the name of Islam are our concerns and our fears as Muslims. Remember that Muslims are the foremost victims of Islamism, whether they're Iranian women over whom Islamist government is being, uh, you know, uh, uh, legislated, or whether we are uh, Pakistani minorities who are Sufi and Shia and being persecuted in Pakistan, or, or whether we are uh, um, a, a subjective the misery of uh, terrorist campaigns by the Taliban or Al-Qaeda or ISIS. The number one victims are Muslims who are not Islamists. So I think your concerns are shared and that there is a great opportunity for us to link together and try and solve this problem. One of the first ways to solving this problem is, it's not, no question that the United States and Western super superpowers and even Gulf superpowers have the military might. There's no question that we could eradicate, for instance, ISIS. What's lacking is political will. And what I understand from my 24 years in the United States is political will is answered by demands of the people, of the voting population. I think if we make this a priority, we, we want to confront Islamism. We don't want to tolerate atrocities in our name. We're not perpetrating them, meaning Americans, but our disengagement for the, from the region is definitely fueling the, um, the, the ferocity of groups like ISIS. Doctor, any, perhaps, uh, any doubt in your mind that if we do not change our attitude and change the way we're behaving now that uh, this disease of Islamism will come to our country and the Western life and destroy it? Well, um, I don't have any doubt. I believe that there are sympathizers with Islamism already here. This is uh, sometimes portrayed as an anti-establishment movement or as a purification or a revival of Islam. Uh, so I have no doubt that there will be people in the United States who are firmly uh, Islamists, who firmly support Hezbollah, who firmly support the Muslim Brotherhood, who want to bring institutional Islamism using our organs of democracy. Sure. Now, the United States and its public is very powerful, so I don't think our constitutional government is in any threat. But I have no doubt that unchecked, this will be as lethal an ideology as communism. There was a reason why we fought a, co a Cold War and why it took decades. It was because we recognized communism to be a threat. Islamism is no different. It's only that its violent manifestations are now reaching the attention of your engaged viewers. And I do commend you for building such an engaged audience. Just um, uh, real quickly, because I'm, I'm way behind time here, just a yes or no question. I think the better comparison of communism Islamism is more uh, closely aligned to uh, the Nazi uh, sort of uh, fruit than communism. Would you agree? I would say uh, probably yes to both. Uh, Nazism, it matches in terms of its anti-Semitism, but exceeds it in terms of its religionization of anti-Semitism. So I see Islamism as much more dangerous than Nazism. You supercharge something with a religious belief, and it becomes much more palatable and easier to spread. So I'm actually more worried about Islamism than one could have been about Nazism. But in communism, it, it mimics it in terms of scale and its institutional occupation of organs of democracy. A good example being Turkey, which is now actually engaged in a war with ISIS, though it has many features of Islam. Islamist government. Well, we can stop here, and I look forward to speaking to you again about this if there is Likewise. an opportunity. Thank you very much. God bless you, and, and uh, God protect you.